Hey guys, welcome back to Melissa's Cricut Creation. Today, I'm gonna address a question I get a lot. How do I make bigger size chip bags? Well, today I'm gonna tell you about a free app called Canva that allows you to make bigger size chip bags that'll fit any bag that you need to use. So if you're ready to get started, go ahead and like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get to crafting. And we'll always be crafters, crafters. It's just in our blood. Make a t-shirt or a mug. Hobby Live is just for us. All right, so you should have, by now, you should go on to your app store. So let's go to our app stores. And you're going to just type in Canva, okay? So I'm going to type it in for you so you can see. And this is what Canva looks like. I already have it. So I can just open it up, right? So I'm going to go back to the home screen. So you'll see what you'll see. This is what it will look like once you have it downloaded. So what you want to do is first you're going to click custom designs, all right? So here you're putting in your designs. So for the width, you're going to do 2550. And for your height, you're going to do 3300 create all right so these are just templates and elements but I'm gonna go ahead and press this home button in your top left hand corner all right so it brings up this and this is what a regular sheet of paper looks like in your top right hand corner you should see where it has three little boxes okay so you see three dots and right next to that you see three little boxes you're gonna click those three little boxes and when you click those it should bring up this next option which has custom size now at the end we should see where it says px and we're going to switch that and we're going to switch it to inches because we know inches okay at least i know inches all right so i want it like a regular sheet of paper and i want the width to be 11 so we're going to exit out of that 11 and then your height 8.5 okay All right, resize, and we have it, okay? So the next thing we wanna do is, we wanna use our shapes, just like we do when we do it in Design Space, right? So there's a plus button at the bottom right-hand corner. And once you click that uh, plus button, you see you have a lot of options here of things that you can bring onto your, um, to your canvas, all right? So first thing I wanna do is, I wanna change the background. So I'm going to click background and recently used, but you, all you have to do is click in lime green. Okay. And this will come up. I'm just going to click the, the recently used. All right. So I like this and I think it's a cute background to use. All right. So next I want to use plus sign again, I think. And I uploaded some images. Click that. All right, so this is basically what I'm gonna use to make this chip bag. And so let's start, we're just gonna put it in a white and come back and get it later. We're gonna start with this and we'll come back and get the rest of the stuff later. All right, so we're gonna start with our mean face. Arr, no, I'm just playing. But we're gonna start with our mean face. So first thing you notice is that it has a background, right? So I always talk about Googling PNGs. Sometimes it doesn't work out like that, right? So how do we remove this background? So let's go to effects and we're gonna just click remove background. Look at that. Now the background's transparent. And so what I did is I then, I clicked the, the, the creepy smiley face and I want to go to adjust, okay? And once you click adjust, you're going to go to position. And I want it centered, all right? So it centers it for me. And you can decide how big you want it to be. Now, so this is the downfalls of doing it through your phone. And you may know different than I do. And if you know how to change the size of your shapes on the iPhone or the Android, let me know in the comments. But I couldn't find a way to change it so i just made sure it was centered because if it's centered in the design it should still be in the front okay so this is centered next i want to take go back to uploads 
and let's get this spider all right and we're gonna do the same thing effects we're gonna remove the background so another thing that you want to how you adjust size with this the little round parts will let you adjust the size so i want it way smaller and then i'm just going to put it in the right hand corner the thing that you need to keep in consideration is that um i think something that you need to keep in consideration with this is you won't have the white part like you do with design space so you don't want to put your designs too close to the edge because you have to tape them together so you're going to need space to be able to tape okay so there's that now let's add our barcode i'm not taking the white off the barcode i think it looks fine all right so let's do that all right if, there we go now we're gonna go we're gonna add another and we're going to photo no i'm sorry uploads and we're going to get the birthday party nutritional facts look at that look at that okay that's pretty cute all right now let's go all right so what did we want on this side what did i have oh all right so now we're going to add text okay so if you want some of these bold fonts which are really really cute so it's all up to you what you want you can use any one of those okay i'm just gonna use a heading and so for here i'm gonna put happy and let's capitalize everything happy uh-oh let's get that y and halloween now if i spell it wrong don't judge me okay move it fast all right you gotta make sure you center this too but i'll do all that at the end i don't really like that font so let's go here and i'm gonna click hit and run because it's bold because you have to be bold to hit and run okay so let's do this oh that's cute all right now let's come over here and we want more text plus sign, text, heading, and I'm just gonna put eat at, okay, let's move over here so I can see what it said. Okay, it's acting like it doesn't wanna move, so what we're gonna do is go to position, okay, then we're gonna go to, oh, it's already here. So we want this, left thank you yay all right uh oh all right so now let's write what we want i want to write eat at your your mm, own risk all right now you see that we'll go right back where we and we're going to see it's at 64 points that's the size we're going to make it smaller there we go Again, I don't like that, so I'm gonna make it hit and run, and yet now it's still too big. So we'll go, so you'll just go to, it says points, but that's the size, and you'll just minimize it, okay? Like that, mm-hmm. So since I gave a little space over here, I'm not gonna give much space over here. And remember, if you're going to crinkle the top and the bottom, think about that too with your designs so that they won't get crinkled. All right. So this is supposed to be centered. I think it's a cute, simple little treat bag for Halloween. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I am going to save this. So how you save the top right-hand corner, you see an arrow pointing down. So we'll click that arrow pointing down. It's preparing our design, and you should be able to find it in your camera roll. Okay, guys, so this is what it looks like once I um, printed it out, okay? I think this looks 
large to me because I'm used to design space and you know it's like a small square right here, okay? All right, let's get to putting this together, all right? So I'm gonna lay it flat. So what I've started doing is I've started assembling the bag first and then stuffing the chips in. But since this is Dorito, and if you saw my last design space chip bag tutorial, uh, you know that I struggle with getting these Doritos in here because of all the extra air. Uh, so I won't do that with this one, but I think it's way easier if you assemble the bag first and then you just stuff the chips in there. You know what, I'm gonna try it anyway. You know, let's, we're gonna live once. Let's see if it works. All right, so let's, we're just gonna do it right on the edge. See, can we stuff the chips in? This might have been a bad idea, but that's okay. Because it was my bad idea. So let's see, can we stuff these in? Already getting issues. Be careful not to tear it like I just did. Should have probably not did this. We got that in there, thank God. Okay. Wasn't easy. So you can see it. Look at that, see how fluffy it is? It only took like a lot of manpower and time and diligence. Okay, now we're gonna put the tape in here. It did tear a little bit, but these bags are for me. So that's fine. Then you can just cut that off. Cute so far, what you think, what you think? All right, so the bottom is sprinkled. Now let's do the top, we're probably gonna have to cut that off. There we go, got it. All right. I think it came out kinda cute. Of course, I would probably cut this off if I was selling it, so they couldn't see that I tore it. But, you know, just to see, show you. So this is the one where I wrapped the Doritos. You see how flat it is? But it's still cute. Well, and this is my shiny paper. I just don't really fool with shiny paper because you see how it smears? You have to make sure you let it dry. And so since I was doing the video, I didn't really have time to let it dry. But, uh, this is the shiny paper. And as I said before, you'll get these template, this template for free. If you join Boss Beginnings Facebook group, I will have it linked in the comments. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this and you'd like to see more tutorials like this. And, um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you wanna see more videos like this, more party planning tips on how you can use your Cricut or other free apps that can be on your phone, please subscribe to the channel on the road to 500 really on the road to a thousand but next stop is 500 i appreciate everybody that tunes in and watches the video and like always stay crafty until i see you next time okay